What's up guys? I was totally gonna find a place to, to film in downtown Riverside and I'm still going to. I might go off the beaten path and not film in downtown but somewhere in the nearby area. But then I saw, I saw, let's see if you can see. I saw this building and and I really, I really want, want a photo of that building. I don't know why, there we go. But there's some really cool color patterns so we're gonna try and, and see if I can get that building, maybe from a drone shot. Hold on. So my phone's been doing this really stupid thing where it offloads apps that I don't want it to not offload. I gotta go somewhere else where I have better service because I have Sprint. And if you've been my friend and we've hung out and I have bad service, I've always said I've got Jog, not Sprint because this is taking forever, it's really, really slow. We're at like a walking pace right now with this data and I don't want to deal with it. So I'm going to try and find somewhere where it's not a dead zone of just it's really bad. Look at it. Just hurry up. And okay, truth be told, the the vantage point right here is not, is not the best. So I do need time to find a better spot. But I just really want apps not to offload. So I need to figure that out. In the meantime, let's find a better angle where the lighting isn't so blown out and maybe we can, maybe it's for the best. Maybe we'll talk about perspective and mindset. It's not a bad idea. This thing still taking forever. I just bought coffee at Lyft. Great coffee shop. And they have Wi-Fi there. I'm not near Lyft anymore. Down the street from Augie's and Molino's. Two great coffee shops. I don't like just using Wi-Fi at a coffee shop. Like, I have to buy coffee. Maybe I'll just get regular coffee. But I need to go find their Wi-Fi so I can download this app, so I can get this shot, so I can continue on filming with what I intended to film today. So we're gonna go to Augie's, use their Wi-Fi. Silver lining, though, I could charge my phone, which it's like 25%, so... I can charge my phone, download the app, get overly caffeinated, and then not sleep till 2 a.m. because I'm gonna be up editing this video and photos today anyway, so we're gonna need the caffeine. Let's, uh, let's, let's go to Augie's. So we parked and we're at Augie's. I thought, you know what, maybe I got lucky. Maybe I got lucky with this whole app downloading thing and no, I didn't. I didn't get lucky. I do like coffee, so I'm not objecting to a second cup, but I probably should because I have to... Okay, now we can go get a second cup. Trash can. If you follow on the podcast, that's that's important for a future future episode. All right. Cup two. And best part, the app downloaded. Finally. Um, I think I didn't really need to get the coffee, but, you know, I would have felt bad. So now I can have a clear conscience knowing that I paid for the service that they offered. Let's go get that shot before I lose too much more light. I think I found a parking lot and a safe spot to take off from. Phone did not get to charge, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, if we get, let's see. That's the building there. We should be okay. So luckily, most everything is ready to go. The drone is unfolded, the remote's out, I just gotta plug it in, and we should have plenty of time. Still getting used to setting this thing up quickly. It's a 
press and hold. Okay, I'm gonna pay attention to the, the drone now, hold on. Flight number three, success. I think we got the shot I wanted. So, uh, if it comes out the way I want, I'll show it now. Got to get a lot better with the drone, a lot more confident, but I also have to get more batteries. And at 70 bucks, 80 bucks a pop, something fell. Um, it's really a bummer to spend that on batteries, but having one battery is just not cutting it, especially I wanted to take this to Portland. Okay, that segment of the vlog is done. Okay, let's keep up with the vlog. Um, losing light fast. Oh, there's music playing. I hope I don't get flagged, not get in trouble by YouTube. Promise I'm not trying to use the music here. It's just in the background. I wanted to talk about something, but then it switched as I parked because uh, if you see, rocking a backpack and I usually don't do that while I'm vlogging because I want to be light and nimble and not have extra gear with me but I'm kind of just doing a field test on this new backpack I got I'll show you over here hold on I hope you got a kick out of that that was not what I had planned on doing with the backpack, but we did it. Okay, cinematic sequence of the backpack and not, unfortunately, of Mariposa Lane. Cool, found a quiet-ish spot to talk. There might be some wind, so we'll address that. There's definitely a, a plane flying somewhere up there. So today turned into I'm gonna redo last week's video to, I wanna go get that drone shot. All of that changed because ultimately why I wanted to come out here was to get ready for my trip to Portland that's coming up the first week of June. So if you know stuff in Portland that's cool, let me know down below so I can check it out. I found a wind block. For about the last two months, I have been on the hunt for a bag. Something other than my small messenger bag that I take to weddings and small shoots. It's good for, a camera body, maybe two lenses and a flash. Outside of that, it just doesn't work. With the podcast and some other shoots I've done where it requires a little bit more equipment, I needed something that can hold a lot of things so I didn't have to bring four bags and whatever else I needed to carry by hand. I got this backpack, it's new to me, it's a used by somebody else. I found it on a Instagram garage sale, which is the thing now, and I paid 50 bucks for this Langley bag love discounts. I, uh, I like buying things cheap, which kind of leads me to thinking about doing a filmmaker creator on a budget kind of series, talking about things on Amazon that are cheaper and kind of reflect and mirror some of the higher end things and seeing how the quality compares for a lower dollar and seeing if you can get by with those until you can upgrade to the big things like the aperture lights, because that's kind of where I'm at and I want to ball on a budget. I want the stuff I can't drop few hundred dollars on a light, not yet. So if you like that idea, let me know. But that was kind of a long way to talk about how I was just getting ready and prepared. I wanted to test out this bag that I got to see if it would be good for walking distances, if it would be good for quick access to some of the things I want access to. Could I carry a drone, a camera, maybe even a gimbal, a tripod, a gorilla pod, two cameras, a mic, can it handle the things I want to take with me and have on me 90% of the time? And I'm going to say it did. Granted, the access part is a little tough, but I can get by with that. I can, I can make it work. But it's a great rugged backpack. It's seen some miles, but I'm going to put some more miles on it. And that kind of leads me to what I wanted to ultimately bring up after realizing what I was doing. In my time kind of doing YouTube videos, creating, being a photographer, I've learned that preparation is something I struggle with. 
I'll too often want to rush out, film a quick vlog, try and get it all sorted out and like in my head as I'm on my way to shoot. And then I get there and the idea doesn't come across the way I want. And that happened last week. So I was just not going to edit that. I don't want to waste time on that video because the topic is good. I didn't think I liked my delivery so much. So prepping is very key. I want to prep for Portland. I want to get good with my gimbal. I want to get confident with my drone. I want to feel capable with all of the tools and things that I have at my disposal before I get to a place I may not ever go to again because that'd be a real bummer because I have in my mind what I want and if I'm not practiced and prepared, then I'm gonna walk away disappointed. So the takeaway is just be ready. Be ready at any moment because you never know what's gonna come your way. You don't know what opportunities are gonna be presented to themselves and you may think that they are far down the road and you're putting off just getting ready because you know, ah, oh, I've got time, I'll figure it out. And then boom, life drops you something that you would have never imagined and you aren't ready. And so take the time now to learn the discipline necessary to be whatever it is you want to be in the future because you may be able to influence your future to come sooner than later. How awesome would it be for you to put in the time, be 1% better every day, learn, listen, glean from others, and then you're able to knock it out of the park and kill it, whatever it may be. All right, I got a text, it's time to go home. Uh, thanks for sticking around, thanks for hanging out, and just be ready. You never know what's coming your way. You never know what you'll be able to step into. You just gotta be ready for it, whatever it is.